and gentlemen, welcome to So Into Bourbon. So Into Bourbon. I'm Glenn, this is Charlie. Hello. Coming to you live, semi-live, from Charlie's basement. We're in the basement. And tonight, drinking a little Jack Daniels. Little Jack Daniels. Little Jack Daniels. Jack Daniels. Mm, keeping it classy in the basement. <laughs> I don't know what that was, but. I don't know what it was either, but I'm kind of excited for this because this is something different. It is totally something different. And unless you've been living under a rock, which I hope you're not, because that would be uncomfortable. Jack Daniels has got a lot of really cool stuff out. They've got a lot of single barrel, barrel proof, single barrel rye, single barrel bourbon, barrel proof rye, barrel proof bourbon, bottle uh, and bonds. Gonna stop you there. Tennessee whiskey. <sighs> he did it. However, we didn't, we didn't even script it, but yes, Tennessee whiskey. It, it is ten Tennessee whiskey. It is Tennessee whiskey. Although, most of what they put out does fall into the bourbon, the category. bourbon category. And even their master distiller will tell you that. But purists will always say in their little accent, well, it ain't bourbon. It's Tennessee it's whiskey. It's Tennessee whiskey, which... Who cares, right? Well, let's talk about what makes Tennessee whiskey, Tennessee whiskey. Number one. It's gotta be made Tennessee. in Tennessee. Yep. Number two, do you know what number two is? Number two, it has to be a sweet mash. No. Dang it. <laughs> what is number two? The Lincoln, do you know, can you finish? The Lincoln Logs <laughs> have tipped over. No, what is it? So it's the way it's filtered. Oh, charcoal filters. Yes. Charcoal it's called filters. The Link, what's it called? The, the Lincoln, Lincoln Process. Lincoln Process. Yeah, yes. the Lincoln Process. And you can Google that if you want yeah. to learn about that. We're yeah. not going to get not, into We're all not going to fist fight over Tennessee whiskey right. versus Kentucky bourbon because you know what? It'd be a quick fight. Yeah. But tonight, <laughs> what we're drinking is not your dad or your uncle or your granddad or your Jack Daniels. Tonight's Jack Daniels is something new and special. Yes, in this particular bottle is Jack Daniels twice barreled special release American single malt finished in Oloroso sherry cask. Maybe the longest name. The literal longest name <laughs> in whiskey. See what I did there? Yes. I didn't say bourbon whiskey. Because this one is not. It is not, not a whiskey. A it is a single malt, which is a 100% malted barley. That's what this is. What is barley? Barley is grain. Malted barley is, it's been malted, means it's been soaked in water, allowed to germinate and then they ferment that, and that is what is in that bottle. Yes. But then it's aged in a sherry cask. cask. Yes. So There's a lot going on in this beautiful little purple bottle. On. Yeah, so what is the what is the proof on this one, I think? I think uh, this one's 107.7. Okay. Uh, nope, 106.7, 106 I was wrong. 7. Beautiful bottle, first of all. It's a beautiful bottle. Um, it's got a, it's a limited bottle, so it's got a little uh, number there on the side of it. I think you can actually register these Real. on Jack Daniels' website. Uh, barrel House is 3-22, Sherry Cask, it's got that number on it, and it has a dump date, like a Blanton's, 10-17-22. I mean, it's, nice. it's a gorgeous bottle. Yeah, and this was, the first release of this was in November of 22. That's right. First time ever. Yeah. Uh, domestic only. And the proof range anywhere from 106.1 to 107.8, from what I understand. So we're right in the middle. And there's no age statement. However, from what I understand, and I don't know if this is true or not, but we read from on what the I understand, yes, that these particular barrels were uh, barreled in 2015. And in 2020, they were put into the sherry casks for about two and a half years. So that would make it a seven and a half year old bourbon. Two and a half years. Not bourbon, whiskey. Whiskey. Two and a half years is a tremendous long time for finishing. But before you say, holy crap, that's a long time for finishing. Fun fact about sherry or loso barrels. They are typically 135 gallon. Yes. So they are much bigger than your traditional Kentucky bourbon whiskey barrel. So they're huge and they don't fit in a rack house. So they are palletized and they're stacked. So you've got a lot more bur whiskey, whiskey in a barrel that's moving around kind of. 
So less uh, surface area, more bourbon, whiskey, and that's why. So yes, yeah. So we should call this episode "So Into Whiskey." So into Tennessee whiskey. <laughs> Tennessee whiskey. Uh, yeah. So this is uh, we're gonna pour here in a second. You, you talk, and you talk, yeah, and I'm, I'm gonna, gonna. I'm gonna talk once again. It's a hundred percent malted barley. MSRP on this is seventy dollars. I paid a little less than that. Oh, where'd you, where'd you pick that one up there? Uh, the Nanya store, <laughs> Nanya business. <laughs> he stole it. I, I did not. I don't steal anymore. Not after your. Well, we won't talk about the time you got caught. Acquitted. <laughs> They're gonna think I'm a criminal. Man, that's dark. It is dark. So before we start playing with this, uh, it's impossible in, in this day and age, in, in you know, 2022, 2023, to not talk about the prevalence of finished whiskeys. Yes. And it is here, it is here to stay. Everyone is finishing whiskeys. Jack Daniels is finishing whiskeys. Wild Turkey is finishing whiskeys. If you are the purist who's sitting at home watching this and being like, that's flavored whiskey and it's this, that, and the other, and blah, 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 you're missing out because it's some really good stuff out there and it really improves or can improve the product uh, that's going I agree. Through. And honestly, Charlie, I think it's a necessity right now in the bourbon market because there's so much. There's yes. such a glut of whiskey on the market. You've got to do something yeah. to distinguish yourself. Um, yes, you can just... You know, just aging whiskey in a barrel, yes, you're going to get yeah. different flavor profiles, but there's only so many different flavor profiles yeah. you can get from just your standard uh, mash bill aging. and yeah. barrel and, and this, that, and the other. Like, yeah, I mean, there, there's only so many ways you can bake a cake. And then at some point, you're like, hey, let's uh, do something different. So right. we throw it in a finishing barrel. We do a, a really unique mash bill. In this case, for Jack Daniels, this is pretty darn unique yeah and we live in a microwave society too so people you know may get into bourbon heavily and then they're gonna get bored of it yeah. after a while um, this is maybe a way for for That's them to keep point. your attention and keep you you know coming back to the store and buying great the point. next bottle so let's quit running our mouth and and take a look at this and dark I mean knows it yeah real really dark. dark it looks really nice uh, kind of a little cling at the clings, top of that yeah. glass, but very not, you, not super viscous. You often don't get a lot of cling on a wine yeah. finished. So, mm. wow, I can smell the sherry. Yeah, you really can. Really it's, wine, it's wine nice. forward, kind of sweet, sweet, fruity. Yeah, mm. I can smell the. There's some vanilla coming through there. Yeah, the, the thing that really surprises me, one of the, the signatures of Jack Daniels is that kind of charcoal mm -hmm. and that heavy char, and, and I don't get any of that. No, <laughs> I don't I'm get not. any of that. Let on me see. I just get that, no, that, that nice kind of, of sweet either. cherry, mm -hmm. which which I like. I love. This This is definitely in my wheelhouse. Yeah. All right, sipping time. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. There's uh, it's kind of a lot going on there. <laughs> There's a lot going on there, yeah. Ooh. And it's a lot of good going on there. I yeah. That's uh, <laughs> that's pretty good stuff. Mm -hmm. um, chocolate. Um, Boy, that malted barley is really so i have had a ton of sherry i, I think a lot of people mm -hmm. sherry casks are pretty universally used they're, they're readily available everybody throws something in a sherry cask so it's a very familiar flavor on that side of it but the malted barley gives it this kind of um rich grainy um really nice kind of uh I don't know, malty, right? Yeah, I, I, that's yeah, the only I, I don't know any kind of, other way to describe it. it, it yeah. It's that kind of that kind of malty earthiness to it, and then the sherry comes in. Yeah. That the sherry is really on the back end and yeah. on the finish. Like yeah. I'm I'm 
picking that up now, the dryness that you would yeah, expect. Yeah, but, it, but it, they complement each other because you get both. Mm -hmm. You don't just get, oh, it's you know a wine finished. You get that kind of multi, uh, earthy, grainy um, in a good way. And then you get the the splash of the the kind of wine and the and the the fruit and the chocolate. Man, really nice. It is really nice. On the second sip, I am picking a little bit of the fruit up. Almost, uh, I would guess more of a cherry. Yeah. Um, which I didn't pick up on the first sip. That's just that's really good. I really, I really like, like this. this. Yeah, I really. And it has, I get a really smoky finish on it. Like kind of a, it's not char, which is what my mind thought I would get mm -hmm. because it's it's Jack Daniels, charcoal filtered, and that's kind of what you get on that flavor. But kind of a real, like kind of smoky, the, the, really wine forward. I didn't pick up the smoke. I, I got Let some smoke I'll on the finish. Try it again. Back of the tongue. Mmm. That's a really unique bottle, and I really like that. It's a really good bottle. It really is, <laughs> yeah. and, and it's um, rich and savory mm -hmm. and sweet, but not overly sweet. Um, yeah, I think yeah. that's that's one of the things that, we, especially with a sherry cask, mm -hmm. is a lot of times it can be oversweet. And, and if you like that, great. If you don't like that, then that's a turnoff. This is not overly sweet. It, it's a very, almost like a bitter cherry um, kind of flavor to it. Yeah, that's exactly what I was going to say. That it, On the third sip, I'm getting more of the cherry coming through, but yeah. it's not a super sweet no. cherry. Yeah, um, kind of like a, a, a bitter, sweet and sour mm -hmm. kind of fruit to it. I'm getting a little bit more of the peppery, um, not a burn, but more of a, a peppery, kind of a spicy note to it. Mm. But yeah, that's a that's a really good bottle. I, Man, I like that a lot. And this was what seventy dollars. Yeah, I, I paid a little less than that, I think. But I could uh, I could justify that. One hundred percent. Absolutely. And, and this is the cool thing that is coming out of this bourbon economy, if you will, is you are starting to see people. You know, I say people, distilleries, brands, companies, do things that you normally wouldn't expect them to do come outside of their norm and Jack Daniels is, is doing that and has done that for the last couple of years so they've, they've done some really phenomenal um, private barrel picks and they've done some limited releases the Sinatra edition was a huge yeah. hit for them um, but this is a really really great offering and it makes me so excited for what's coming out this this was not a flash in the pan like hey let's just release this if this is truly seven and a half years old, this has been in the works for a while. Yeah. Which makes me think, what else is in the works, Absolutely. Jack Daniels? Are you holding have, out on us? They have been coming out with a lot of different products yeah. here lately that have been getting some pretty good reviews. Yeah. Uh, the Triple Mash, mm -hmm. I think. The Bonded. The Bonded. Yep. I haven't had, I haven't tried either one of those yet. I'm looking forward to it. And like you said, this isn't your father's Jack Daniels. This isn't. The Jack Daniels of you know when you were 17, 18, 19 years old and, and hitting the bottle of old number seven. We all got to start somewhere. Yeah, the Jack and Coke. You don't want to mix this. Um, no. And which is really cool because just to tell a story, story time with Glenn. Um, I've been really wanting to do that because I have a new jingle. Um, I cannot wait for where this is going. And, and now, 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 story, story time, time, time with Glyph. <laughs> so, anyway, back to your point. You know, a couple years ago, um, a local liquor store, Keg Liquors, did a single barrel pick with Louisville Bourbon mm -hmm. Hounds, and they had Jack Daniels came to the store, and I was kind of skeptical. Like, yep. eh, it's Jack Daniels. Went to that. I believe you were there. That was before he we and I didn't knew know each, each other, other yeah. and we were in the same room. Yeah, that. and I was blown away and shocked at how much I liked. Yeah, pretty much everything I, I yeah. tried there. So, and, and that's to your point. One of those things where I, I have been amazed in in the last year, kind of looking back, 
revisiting things that I thought, oh, I don't like that. Mm -hmm. Or, oh, this is my favorite. And then you go back to it and you're like, oh, it turns out I really do like that. And mm -hmm. it turns out I really don't like that as much as I thought. Your palate changes. And as you get older, your palate will continue to change. So what that means is you gotta keep drinking. That's the only solution. <laughs> your body is not gonna make alcohol for you. So you have to, you're, you're gonna have to adjust. But seriously, don't be afraid to, when you're in that store, this be like- This is where we say drink responsibly. Drink responsibly. And if you feel like you have a problem, There are reach out. facilities for that, I don't know. <laughs> but the point of that in all seriousness is to go back and try something regular. Like, be like, you know what? I, I haven't had Jack Daniels in a while. We were just talking. I haven't had Jim Beam probably in five years. Regular old-fashioned, plain old Jim Beam. I, I would love to go back and, and just try that and revisit yeah. it to see kind of what it's like. And there's so many brands and so many products out there that, uh, that many can get lost. And Jack Daniels, God, just to come back to this bottle... So good. That is very good. So good. And then just to expand on what you were just saying, if you, you know, I know a lot of you who are watching this probably get together with friends. Maybe you do blinds. Throw something like that in a blind. Throw it, just oh, a yeah. bottle of Jim Beam or a bottle of Jack Daniels and or just see how they do. Or a bottle of this. Yeah. yeah. This, this will blow up a blind tasting because I know if I tasted that and you showed me, oh, this is Jack Daniels. And I'm going to read this again so I get it right. <laughs> Jack Daniels, twice barreled, special release, American single malt, finished in Orloso Sherry Cask. Jack, we got to do something about that name. But um, yeah, you threw this in a blind and I tasted that. I would be blown away if that's what it was because it is. That's really man, good. Man, sweet, chocolatey deliciousness. That's what you should call Chocolate it. Chocolate covered cherries. Chocolate covered cherries. Um, Glenn. Are uh -huh. we drinking this or sinking it? Oh, what? <laughs> we're drinking this. Tonight. <laughs> um, are we pouring it or storing it? Um, this is one that I think, I don't, I don't think you're going to have to store this one. I think this is one that you can pour and feel pretty confident that it's going to be available because this is a, Jack Daniels is a, yeah, mass-produced product. I, I could be wrong. Could be wrong. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess on that one, time will tell. I will tell you, I like this so much that until I drink enough of it that I get sick of it, I will be pouring. Yes. Yeah. The important thing, if you see this out, buy it. Buy it. Buy two. One to drink and one to drink after you drink that one. Yeah. And maybe, yeah, you know what? I'm going to go back on that. Buy one to pour, buy one to store, because you just don't know. It's a... Bourbon being a economy. huge company, yeah. who knows? Ah, we're gonna ax that. Where that's not making enough profit for us, we're gonna cut that out. So yeah, uh, yeah. Buy one, store it, drink it, share it. I love doing these episodes for you guys, and I love being surprised by things because I did not when I purchased this, I thought this could be a dumpster fire. <laughs> Because I think you all, you know, we all have those preconceived notions mm -hmm. of brands and, and it's very easy to be pessimistic and be like, well, that's a, you know, this is a, a marketing thing. Like there's so much just in the title, single malt. Okay. We're going to twice barrel finish and a sherry cask. It's so good. Yeah. Well, well done, Jack Daniels. Kudos to you. Absolutely. And full disclosure, we like, we tend to like finished whiskeys 100 percent. you know so if you're a person who doesn't like finished whiskeys you maybe should, you're not gonna like it but just to still try it yeah because it's to really me, this good this is really good yeah really good so all awesome. right well uh be sure to like and subscribe like and subscribe don't forget to check out the facebook group so into bourbon don't follow, forget to follow us on instagram follow glenn on uh, tiktok whiskey realtor tiktok tiktok and as always don't forget to <laughs> God, ruin Don't the whole Don't forget episode. to butter your biscuits. Don't forget to butter your biscuits. Good night, everybody. Peace out. We'll edit that out. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> Two and a half years in a sherry cask? That's Is that what it says? It says? Yeah. Right. And it says that... That's incredible. The brand that started it out for me. Jack Daniels. Jack Daniels. Ladies and gentlemen, Jack Daniels has entered the chat. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Let's get ready to rumble! That was pretty good, wasn't it? No. It was It was good. okay. It was okay. I was trying to... I could have done better, but I didn't want to disturb the people upstairs.